Titans quarterback Vince Young is in trouble for a strip club brawl in Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. All right. Apparently, uh, someone said something negative uh, about the University of Texas, which is his oh. alma mater. What is he, J.R. Jackson? <laughs> Getting worked up about somebody saying something about your school? He wasn't about to have it, so uh, a brawl ensued, and we have video of it. All right. Oh, so this is just the, the video, but no audio. Yeah, there's definitely a brawl going on. He's the it one in the white, and he's in the back corner now. It'll, it'll replay again, but he, he comes in from the... He comes in from the bottom uh, left of the video. There he is again, bald-headed guy, and he keeps trying to get back to him. Okay, a brawl has ensued. Yeah, you know, people are goofy. I know. Is this like a man thing? Is this common? I mean, if someone came up to you, Jenk, and said, yeah, Columbia, weak sauce, <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you lose it? I, so I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Um, and right around the time that I was going to law school at Columbia, they had lost like a million and a half games in a row in football. Like it was like the running joke: how many games can they lose in a row? Uh, and I mean, what, in a pen, I went to Penn undergrad. If somebody came up to me and he's like, "You know what? The Fighting Quakers don't really fight." <laughs> I'm like, "Wait a minute!" And then a brawl would ensue. No, I couldn't care less. I would find it highly amusing. Now, if they talk smack about East Brunswick High School, then we're having an issue. You're asking the guy who probably got into so many fights in high school over nothing. So, I mean. I did. When I was a kid, I got in a lot of fights. But you know what? When I became a man, I put childish things aside. You're an NFL quarterback. You're making a lot of money. Let it go, man. Well, well and I learned. It's, it's what he said something. You probably have this information, too. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So, he apologized about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. He felt very bad, and he realized what he did was uh, immature. He said, um that he prays to God that the league commissioner, Roger Goodell, doesn't come down hard on me because I definitely want to be here for my teammates. Okay. <laughs> now he's praying to God. Just, dude, like, just don't throw the punch. I don't know. It's a strip club. Maybe they were loaded, you know, and they were hammered, and so he used bad judgment. It, didn't he, what was that, French lick test? Or what's that stupid test the NFL does where he scored like a negative five or whatever? It's the intelligence test. What, the wonder lick. Wonder lick, yeah, that's it. There's only one place I'd rather be. Wonder lick. Okay, getting those two things confused. Anyway, uh, so Vince Young scored like a negative 28 or something. They're like, wow, this guy's like monumentally dumb. Okay, oh. uh, which is really unfortunate. But Vince Young... You know, yeah, he had those mental issues for a while in the NFL, but he's a hell of a football player, man. He had mental issues? Like, he broke down, he had, like, you know, nervous breakdown or something, oh. couldn't hack it. Anxiety? Something, right? And he melted down. Uh, but on the football field, he doesn't seem dumb at all. I mean, he seems like a winner, and he knows how to win, he's smart, he knows, you know, where to get the ball, when to run, when to pass, I mean, whatever, you know. So he never seemed dumb to me, mm -hmm. but when he does something stupid like this, then you think Wonderlick negative twenty eight. By the way, it wasn't really negative. It's just calm down. He's emotional, is maybe what it is. Yeah. See this little thing like that, or on the football field when he was getting booed by his home crowd, stuff like that. That's when he started breaking down. It's he's an emotional. I'm guessing. And his mother came out and said, "Oh, stop picking on my son. All that stuff." Oh. You know? oh. <laughs> Booby ba booby. <laughs> Disaster. Here's, don't do it, mothers. Don't do it. That's the worst thing you could do to your son. Here's what you don't want happening if you're a professional football player. Your mommy defending you. <laughs>